As part of this Palo Alto 0 to 60 playlist, in this video, you and I get to configure DHCP services on the firewall itself. So in our journey, we've already covered these first three bullets, and we're now going to focus on DHCP services on this one slash one interface for the benefit of clients who are going to be connected to that 10.10.0 network. And if you're thinking, Keith, Keith, when did we configure the first three? They're all part of the playlist. So in the description for each of these videos, there's a link for the playlist. So you can click on that and get full access to these right here on YouTube. So for now, let's head over to the interface one slash one on this Palo Alto firewall. And for DHCP services, let's do the following. Let's sound out IP addresses in the range of 10.10.0.51 through, let's go through 99. And that'll be enough for this network. As far as the default gateway, that should be the IP address of the firewall itself, which will be 10.10.0.19. And for DNS, I have a local DNS server on this 10.10.0 network. So let's send out the DNS server information of 10.10.0.100. So that's another server sitting right here that can provide DNS services. So with that in mind, let's head over to the Palo Alto firewall and configure DHCP services on interface 1.1. So it's back to firewall 19 we go and to configure DHCP services, we're going to click on the network tab up here on top and on the left, we're going to click on DHCP. So we're not by default acting as a DHCP server, but to fix that with the DHCP server sub tab selected, we'll click on add. The first question it's asking is, okay, which interface do you want to provide DHCP services on? And that's going to be our ethernet interface one slash one. So we'll select that. And then with the least tab selected, let's go ahead and do a ping before handing out an IP address in an attempt to discover a duplicate. And let's also hand out addresses for up to one day and clients can do an automatic renew. And then for the pool, we'll click on add. And the pool based on our plan is going to be 10.10.0.51 all the way through 10.10.0.99. So we'll put that range in there for the pool. And then we'll click on the tab here for options. And we'll specify the default gateway for these clients. It should be 10.10.0.19. And the subnet mask is going to be a 24-bit mask. So we'll put that in dotted decimal. And for their primary DNS server, we're going to have them use 10.10.0.100, the DNS server on that local subnet. And that looks great. So we'll click on OK. Now this change, this additional DHCP service that we've just configured, it's only in the candidate configuration. So if we want to actually use this config, we need to commit it and move it over to the running config. So we'll click on commit. We'll confirm that commit. And we'll give that a few moments to complete. And once it's complete, we'll bring up a client on that 10.10.0 network and verify that DHCP services work for that DHCP client. So now the commit is complete on the firewall, let's bring up a DHCP client. And for this example, I'm using a Windows 11 computer right here in this VLAN that's supporting the 10.10.0 network. So this Windows 11 computer represents this client right here. And let me disable the interface. And let's take a look at the Ethernet interface by going to properties and for IPv4. It's configured to be a DHCP client. Great, great, great. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And let me right click on the interface and enable it. So when it boots up, if everything's working, this device should be able to get an IP address and default gateway and DNS information all from the DHCP services running on this Palo Alto firewall. I also have BG info on this local machine. So we launch that and click on OK. It should reflect the information here on the desktop. So it's showing the IP address of 10.10.0.51 with the default gateway of 19. We could also confirm that at the CLI here on this Windows computer by doing an IP config. And sure enough, that pans out. And we can also verify we've handed out the address here at the firewall as well. So here at the firewall with the network tab selected and DHCP on the left selected. Here, if we click on view allocation, it should show us any IP addresses it's assigned. So here is the 10.10.0.51 address assigned to the host name called Win11 Pro. So now, based on this video, we can add DHCP services to our list of what we've covered in this playlist. Now, before this client that's sitting on the 10.10.0 network can get access to the internet, we need to do some address translation to make that work. And specifically here, we'd want to do source address translation for the initial flows of traffic from this client going out to the internet. And that's exactly what you and I get to configure in the very next video. So once again, if you have a few more minutes, join me in the next video as we configure and verify SourceNet on the Palo Alto firewall. I'll see you there in just a moment.